So what was that agreement? Well, hi, Ashley. You had a few court hearings today, the most important one in Alameda County Court, where this tragic case originated. Essentially, you had the two sides and the judge reach an agreement that an outside medical team could come into the Oakland's Children's Hospital and take Jahai McMath's body. Now, that may sound like a simple issue, but remember, according to the hospital, you're dealing with a deceased human being, and they say that certain protocols need to be in place if you're going to remove a body. On the other hand, the family says that she is very much alive, and as you said, they want to take her to a long-term facility. This is what the family lawyer had to say outside of court. And what we needed to know is that when all of the, the balls are in line, that we could move quickly and not have to then have any impediments so that we all understood what the protocol was and there would be no uh, argument about how it would proceed or no uh, unpleasantries at the hospital. So this is a victory in terms of getting us one step closer to move. So Dan, the family sees this as a victory, but there's some other very serious issues at play. Yeah, there's a big problem as far as the family is concerned because in order to take her to a long-term facility, certain uh, procedures need to take place so she can be in that facility for an indefinite period of time, including a tracheostomy and inserting a feeding tube. Now, the hospital will not perform these procedures because they say it would be inappropriate to do so on what they say is a deceased person, and the judge is not going to compel them to do so, and it's unclear if the family can get an outside doctor to do these kinds of procedures. As for the hospital lawyer, he said this outside of court, and he said he has one wish for this family. Personally, it's horrible that this child has died. It's also horrible that uh, it's so difficult for her family to accept that death. And I, I wish and I constantly think that wouldn't it be great if they were able to come to terms with the terrible, tragic event and that I didn't have to stand here in front of you all time after time. That was the hospital lawyer getting choked up at the end. This is such a difficult case, Ashley. You have several medical experts who have said that Jahai is brain dead, which in their mind is synonymous with death itself. And you have a family that is not willing to let her go.